I'm Dov S.S. Simmons, and this is WebFilmSchool.com, the free film school on the web. WebFilmSchool.com, and this segment, film tip number 92, is how to hire your script supervisor, your script supervisor. Let's get focused. What I'm showing you to do is how to make a Hollywood million to $2 million feature, but how to do it independently for a budget, a low budget of 250 to 400000 And right now we're on check number 16, crew. You've hired your key people, production manager, production designer, and cinematographer. Now let's hire the individual people. Let's go to the clipboard. Let's get into some information, your script supervisor. First off, here's how to hire your script supervisor, how to find one. One, you can go to the union, IATSE, and you can get their roster list. Be careful about going union. I'm not saying not do it. The second one, independent. Let's go to your local film commissioner. You got the website up there. You'll find the independent, non-union script supervisors. But best way always is to hire your script supervisors from referrals. Referrals of who? Your key people. Your production manager, your production designer, your cinematographer. They've been on a lot of shoots. They've worked with script supervisors. They know who's good. They know who's looking for jobs. And of course, there's always Craigslist. Now, you want to know what does the script supervisor do? A script supervisor is in charge of three things. One, script notes. Two, continuity. And three, covering the director's ass or making sure he or she doesn't flop the eye line. Here's what I mean by that. Script notes. They're always sitting in a little chair writing notes, sitting right behind the director and right behind the cinematographer near the camera. What they're doing is they're describing each shot and they're putting the edge code numbers in, the edge code numbers out. So when you get to post-production, you want to find the shot and you want to cut it in, you can save a lot of time by knowing the shot description and the edge code numbers. The second thing they do is continuity. So let's say you're doing a master shot of me and I do the scene, I talk, and my jacket is open. And then a half hour later, we want to do it again with a medium shot, but for whatever reason, my jacket is closed now. Well, we can do the scene, I can do the performance great, but the medium shot is not going to cut into the master shot. The script supervisor is always looking for these little continuous continuity things, not break in continuity, and the script supervisor is in charge of covering the director's ass, making sure the director, when they first do a master shot, then, then we can go in for medium or close-ups, the director doesn't flop the eye line, the imaginary line, the 180 degree rule, the center of action. By the way, that information on the eye line is on one of the directing tips. Now, what to pay a script supervisor? If you go union and you're low budget, look on the screen, you're probably tier one, anything under Four million two hundred thirty thousand. What that means is you will pay. Look on the screen again. If it's union, I add so you'll pay twenty one and four twenty one dollars fourteen cents an hour. But that's for approximately forty hours. You're going to be working probably an 80, 90, 120 hour a week. What that's going to cost with overtime is probably $8,768 over a three week shift for your script supervisor. Let me show you how to go independent and save over $7,000. What you're going to do is hire somebody independent, whether they're in the union or not, you don't care. You can hire whoever you want to hire. Go independent. You need an assistant or script supervisor for two days, paying approximately $100 a day during pre-production that's 200 bucks and you'll pay your script supervisor your budget allocates about $500 a week for three weeks that's 1500 that's 1700 dollars go union it's 8768 go non-union it's 1700 dollars wow hire your script supervisor and I recommend if you can go non-union happy filmmaking now here's what you've just learned in your crew, you need a script supervisor, and I recommend go independent. If you go union, IATSE, it'll probably be $2,641 per week. I recommend go independent. You're going to pay your script supervisor about five to eight hundred dollars per week. And if you don't go union on a three-week shoot, you will save a little over seven thousand dollars. 
Wow, pretty good information. The next film tip coming up, film tip number 93, I'm going to teach you how to hire your grips, your key grip, your best boy grip, and your dolly grip. You've gotten some real good information in approximately four or five minutes. My real film school is the two-day film school. I do it about 40 times a year in different cities around the world. I recommend taking my two-day film school, 1,000 minutes of fact-filled information. Day one, how to make your feature film, and day two, how to sell your feature film. And by the way, you'll see all the addresses and all the locations on the website, webfilmschool.com, webfilmschool.com. And also, if you can't wait and you can't attend the two-day film school, I have it made for you in a box set right now. Here it is, the two-day film school. 16 one-hour filmmaking DVDs, budgeting, scheduling, screenwriting, directing, cinematography, lighting, editing, marketing, distributing, financing, deal making. Everything you need to know about making and selling your first independent feature film is here. The freshman year, sophomore, junior, and senior year, along with a real diploma and a graduation certificate. So if you want to launch your career right away and you don't want to spend over $200,000 in some theory-laden four-year film school, then either get the DVD film school or attend my two-day film school. Now it's up to you to take action. Launch your career. Happy filmmaking.